because there was a bit missing. Mum? <laughs> well, uh, it was just so nice and crunchy. Crunchy, yes. And I had hours to wait in the chemist. I've been trying to catch you. It's from the Bread Protection League. You left this on the counter in the chemist. Oh, that. That's not mine, but thanks uh. anyway. <laughs> Well, what do you expect me to do? Take it. We all know it's yours. How do you know? Oh, come on. Well, I don't want him to know that I need to diet. What's it matter what he knows? He's old enough to be your husband. He was looking at my hips. I know what he was thinking. Oh, yeah, what? I can see the problem. That's what he was thinking. Maybe he was thinking, here's a woman with... With what? Saddlebags under her leggings. <laughs> with a proper womanly shape. Oh, men only think that in my fantasies. Well, everybody else saw you buying it. Uh, no, they didn't, because I lurked behind the foot powders until it was empty. Yeah, and then you left it behind. Doesn't that tell you something? Yes, my memory's going as well as my neck. <laughs> it tells me you don't want to diet. You never have, so why bother? Well, I thought I ought to make an effort about now. Oh, yes. How long till the big day? Two whole sleeps. <laughs> Complete kid about birthdays is the same every year. I think they're coming a bit more often than that now. I remember it was only very, very recently that I was worried about being 30. Hmm. So you're worried about getting older and yet you love having birthdays. No, I, I, I don't want to make a big thing about them anymore. Oh, no, that's a turn-up. I think we should talk it through. Sit. Oh, no, Hannah. No, I know you've got to practice. No, 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 it's not practice. It's training. Sit. Oh, no, don't start on me. You are a classic case of midlife discontent. Sit. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now, talk to me. Harry said I have great listening skills. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. <laughs> Harry says I'm a natural. Harry says a lot, doesn't he? He's supposed to. He's the lecturer. He's taking me to a seminar tonight. Hannah, look, I am very pleased that you're going to be a counsellor. But you have to watch these people, you know. What people? Well, counsellors and therapists, those sort of people. Why? Well, they're a bit... A bit, um... A bit what? A bit caring. <laughs> they're supposed to be caring! Why is it you only think caring is an insult? Well, you used to think that too. Yes, well, now I know better. In the caring <laughs> professions... Oh, please! In the caring professions, we know that you can't solve all your problems with a bottle of wine and a bag of crisps. Ah, I know, but that's where a pepperoni pizza comes in. Haven't you noticed that I'm a stronger person lately? I don't want you stronger. I want you tidier. Oh, shut up. Shut up yourself! You know, part of the training is that we have to undergo therapy ourselves so that we can look at it from both sides. Will you stop that? <laughs> I mean, you talk to Harry about yourself. I'm talking to him, yeah. And you tell him what? Well, that it's taken me a long time to find a direction in my life. Hmm. What does Harry say is the reason for that, then? He blames the mother. Yeah, you see? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. All counsellors tell you things you don't want to hear and then you feel twice as bad as you did when you started. That'd be him. Mm. Thought I heard the shuffle of recycled sandals. <laughs> Behave. I'm surprised he's not sitting cross-legged on a gym mat, flicking mung beans out of his beard. Mum, last morning. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Do you know who this belongs to? I mean, I found it on your front doorstep. Well, it obviously doesn't belong to either of you. <laughs> Oh, I like him. <laughs> and then there was the time she told me the facts of life. Yes, how old were you? 22. <laughs> and she hadn't mentioned it before? Oh, yeah. She'd been trying to tell me since I was about 10, but every time she started, she got the giggles. <laughs> so your mother finds sex funny? She finds everything funny, except bathroom scales. Right. Uh, so what did she say exactly? She said... Hannah, I'm going to tell you the facts of life. And I said, about time. And she said, listen, men with beards are trying to hide something. And chips aren't as fattening as you think. Good night. <laughs> uh, so you obviously find your mother confusing as a role model. No, I find her hopeless as a role model. I find her confusing as a conversationalist. Hannah, if you're going to go forward as a counsellor, you really have to try and keep your channels open. Who said they weren't open? 
Well, you tend to shy away from any probing into what is obviously the most important relationship in your life. And you know why? I know what you're going to say, and I don't want to hear it. Because like all daughters, you're frightened of becoming like your mother. No, please, Harry, tell me I'm not like her. Of course you're like her. I am not. She likes dogs. I like hamsters. And I hate Barry Manilow. Uh, never underestimate the perceptive influence of the popular song. Oh, Mandy, well, you came and you gave without taking. <laughs> what does that say to you? Mandy was stupid. <laughs> what, what is this? A la-la. <laughs> Giving without taking, Hannah. It perfectly describes the counsellor's role. How are your giving skills? Oh, well, I'm giving her a surprise birthday party tomorrow. Oh, lovely. A surprise party. So you'll let her spend all day feeling neglected, thinking everyone's forgotten. That's the idea. <laughs> I know. Why don't you tell her about it? Well, because then it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Hannah. What are you doing here? I'm kicking it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Your hair looks nice. I should think. Anna? I'm in a hurry, Joel. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about what you're saying to me. What? Get lost? No, 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 not that. My confidence to be proud of myself. Yes. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Yes. Yeah, so, Hannah, I love you. I know. Um, Hannah, will you marry me? No. That's right. Why? You know, I'm confident. <laughs> Hannah! Tell security that there is a mad woman in my classroom. <laughs> Paul, mm, uh, do you think I've got fat arms? Yes. <laughs> How long have we known each other? Seems like only yesterday. And if it was tomorrow, I would cancel it. Do you mean just after my birthday last year or just before? I don't think it was anywhere near your birthday. No, oh, I thought it was. Because you sent me a card addressed to Mrs. Grayshot because we hadn't known each other very long. Mm. And I remember being very touched. Touched? Yes, touched. That you sent me a card for my birthday. You told me to. I had 17 last <laughs> year. You counted them? I wonder how many I'll get this year, birthday cards. Who knows? <laughs> Paul. Haven't you got a class to teach? Do you know what I'd really like to do for my birthday? Oh, you haven't got a birthday coming up, have you? Oh, goodness me, <laughs> what a complete surprise. Paul, oh, I would like to do something really exciting. Well, I hope it's got nothing to do with mangoes, frozen yoghurt and black silk sheets, because I am not trying that again. <laughs> <laughs> He's so unadventurous, you know. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> what is it? Morning. Morning. How am I today? Don't you know? Well, a bit older than I was yesterday. Obviously. <laughs> Are you cooking anything? Nope. <laughs> Only I, I felt a bit like a fry-up, you know, in bed, cooked by someone else. Oh, Paul's here, is he? No. I meant you. Oh, now, Mum, you should start your day with fruit. Well, I did. Did you? Yes, I had an orange. Good. And a banana. Fine. Now I want a fry-up. Yeah, well, I'm going to be late. <laughs> uh, do you know what the date is today? Yes, yeah, the 13th. Oh, you think I don't know what day it is. Oh, right. See you later. Of course I do. That's yesterday's. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Shall I close my eyes? Not unless you're tired. <laughs> you think I haven't got you a present, don't you? Yes. Well, I have. Where is it, then? I'm moving out. Good. Where's the present? That is your present. I'm giving you back your freedom, your flat. I'm moving you with one of the girls on the course next week. Isn't that the best present? <laughs> I, I wanted something to open. Oh, there's a car from Auntie Irene. Came yesterday. Oh, right, thanks. See you later. For, for what? 
for when I get home. Hannah, what are we going to do when you get home? Oh, let's just get a takeaway curry. Hannah, it's my birthday. Oh, I'll put a candle in your biryani. Well, you know, you know what I really like? A surprise party, and here's a list of people I'd like to come. <laughs> Sean Connery? <laughs> he might be free. Mum, you'd hate a surprise party. No, I wouldn't. Spending the whole day feeling neglected and thinking no one cared. Yeah, but if I knew about it, I wouldn't, and I could look surprised. <laughs> well, that's going on too really late. With Harry? Yes. Well, he can come if he likes. I shouldn't think he'd want to come to my mum's birthday party. I'll pay him. Oh, no. <laughs> Why not? Not after the last time. What? When you dragged him on the sofa, offered him a large gin, and told him he was gorgeous. Well, he is. Look, we will just have a nice, quiet night in. Okay? Mum? Okay? I suppose so. Look, you're the one that said you didn't want to make a big thing about your birthday. Did I? Yes! But I didn't mean it! You remind me of your mother in so many ways. Have you been talking to Harry? Who's Harry? Never mind. You do know it's her birthday today. Does cheese great? Come on, what is up with her? I'm doing her a surprise party. She gave me a list of the people she wants to come. Could you just run that by me again? She doesn't think I'm doing it, but I am. So don't tell her. Say nothing, OK? Bye. Ow! Thank you very much. Is there anything else you wouldn't like me to say or do? Oh, yes. Yeah. Bring her home after work, but not quickly. Bring her home slowly. But we could walk backwards, avoiding the cracks. Stop putting on the road is whatever. Just do it, OK? Do you mind? How is the counselling course going? Oh, Harry says I'm a naturally sympathetic person. No! You've got a sense of humour, then. I am. And you're going to bash anyone who says different. How do you get hold of Sean Connery? Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. And how are you? It's a bit windy out today, isn't it? Windy, yes, it is. It was windy yesterday as well. Was it windy yesterday? I don't remember. Oh, yes, you remember yesterday. It was a 13th. And it's still windy today, and today is the... Faith, I know what day it is today. Do you? How? Presumably you put this up last night. <laughs> You'd hate yourself if you forgot. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Quite a big one, isn't it? Well, let's just say it won't be easy being 40. <laughs> Faith, I know how old you are. You don't? Within a decade or so. Well, exactly. I am 40 within a decade or so. <laughs> um, shall I close my eyes? If you must. <laughs> Have you got me a present? Age hasn't brought subtlety in your case, has it? Yes or no? I have made you a present. Oh, no. It's a button back. Yes. It's not really me, though, is it? It's an antique. Thanks. <laughs> it's just, it, it, you can't really wear a chair. You've worn chairs at parties. I, I, I was rather hoping for diamonds. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm an upholsterer, not a jeweller. Yes, that's another disappointment. Oh, look, are you going to sulk all afternoon? Yes, I think I might. What's wrong? Hannah says we should just have a takeaway tonight. Paul, it is my birthday. I want big things to happen. Look, if you were expecting a Concorde flight to Paris, let me just explain. There are dreams, and there is reality, and you are sitting on it. Yes. <laughs> and it's boring. A takeaway is boring. So what do you want? Well, I wanted a surprise party, but Hannah is too busy with this counselling thing. Oh, that's wonderful, isn't it, that she's happy and busy? Well, yes, and moving out. Is she? Yes, that was her birthday present to me. Well, there you are, then. Yeah, but I wanted something to unwrap. You can unwrap this if it makes you feel better. <laughs> of course. You could take me out. I tell you what, we'll have a drink in the bar after work. Oh, wow. 
with the rest of the staff. Well, do you think they'll all come? Yeah, they will if I pay them all a fiver. <laughs> ah! I didn't say you could eat it. A glass of wine, please. Well, I'm not working here. No, I can see that. Thought perhaps you might like to start now. <laughs> I can't. Chaz just asked me to look after things while he gets the crisps. That's all right. You can look after me. A glass of red wine, please. No one behind the bar, he said. Well, I tell you what. Look, there's a bottle of wine, there's a glass. Why don't you pour the wine into the glass, and then I'll pay Chaz when he gets back. I'm so sorry. Shall I run that by you again? Bottle glass. Glass bowl, just like that. <laughs> Before your time, is it? Fine, I'll help myself. Oh, oh, you get off me. I'm a teacher, I'm not a student. Oh, Chaz said teachers are the worst. And I'll be back in a sec. I can't wait a sec. Alcoholism. I am not an alcoholic. I am a birthday girl and I want a birthday drink. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. All right. <laughs> yeah. Drown your sorrows, yeah? And my mum was a son of a sweet one. It's no fun getting old, she said. Got completely out of it on rum and black. Oh, poor thing. How old was she? 36. <laughs> what she got to look forward to? 37's. Quite good, so I've heard. So, here we all are. Here I am. It's a very nasty night. You're telling me. Paul, where is everyone? Well, I should expect they've all had to rush home because of the bad weather. But the others will be here soon. Any minute. What are you having to drink? Nothing, apparently, till Chaz gets back with the crisps. Oh, Faith! Oh, Rosemary, thank goodness I thought no one was going to turn up. Come and have a drink. Why? It's my birthday. Oh. Well, before you get completely ratted, can you move your car? It's blocking my Citroen, and I've got to get to Tesco's. <laughs> ah, this is a nice surprise. Well, I smell trouble. Trouble about the bed. Hillary, she's not coming tonight either because of the weather. It's pathetic, isn't it? It's not as if it's a hurricane. I'll be unaccompanied tonight. My first taste of life as a single woman. It's a big decision to leave him. Did you open up a dialogue like I told you? Oh, yes, we talked about it last night. In bed. Oh, that's a good place. I told Dave that I felt that he was restricting my development as a person. And Justin agreed. <laughs> was there as well, in the bedroom. We had to get up early and we've only got one alarm clock. Anyway, he likes to show Dave his equipment. His what? <laughs> Just the harnesses and leather restraining things he sells and uh, he has hoods as well. I just get bored with it all and I go and make myself a cup of tea and watch the Euro trash. And sometimes I fall asleep on the sofa. And, uh, have you ever gone back up to bed? Well, not much point, really, because I can hear they're still rattling around with the stuff. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I can hear Justin making horsey noises. <laughs> they're just like children, really. Um, Caroline, do you think that maybe Dave has transferred his affections elsewhere? No, where? Well, <laughs> oh, it's not him. No? No, it's me that's been straying. You remember when Jules and I were in love? Yes, well, that was a pretty daft period in your life, but thank goodness you're over that. I think we still are. Oh, no. I spurned him when Dave wanted me back, but I was denying my heart. You haven't told Jules how you feel, have you? No. But he'll be pleased, won't he? Mm. <laughs> 
Hey, it's a bit windy, isn't it? Jules. Hello, Karen. Hannah. Jules. What? I missed you. Well, you didn't. You called me. <laughs> I mean, I missed you since we parted. Uh, Hannah, I think it's time I swam in Lake Me. <laughs> so, uh, Hannah, do you think there will ever be a time when you can come to look upon me as more like someone that you do want, yeah, and less, less like someone <laughs> that you don't want? Blow up some balloons, Jules. All right, then. <laughs> Somewhere else! Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> Door-to-door -door service. Can't have you driving home on your birthday. Ah, oh, what's the matter? Still sulking? I'm not sulking. It's just that... Well, you said everybody was going to come for a drink because it was my birthday, and nobody came. George did. Oh, George. The woodwork teacher, yeah, he came. Yes, yeah. to fix an optic. He wished you a happy birthday. No, he didn't. What he said was, I'd like to wish you a happy birthday, but I shouldn't think you'd get many happy birthdays at your age, do you? <laughs> Trim that hedge this morning so the interflora could get through. You did very nicely. Oh, come on, let's go back to your place. No! I'm so sorry, I didn't realise it was such a scary idea. No, normally I would be delighted, but uh, Hannah's expecting you. And what can I expect? Spicy papadums. Come on. Let's make a break for it. One, two, three. Mum, don't come in. Why is the fool's ten out here? Yeah, can't you go to Paul's? Why? Oh, I know. No, you don't. You did it. I'm not having it. You're not ready for me. No, don't you see? Or, or tales from the Vienna woods. I'm not dressed properly. Where is everybody? Everybody's gone home, of course. Why? She's in denial. Because your house has been mugged by a giant Turkish oak. <laughs> this is all my fault, Mrs. Glacier. I was standing over there, I was blowing this balloon, and it went bang, and I guess I made the tree jump. <laughs> When one of Junior's old flames goes AWOL from the army, she makes sure she's there to help. And how do you fancy a gourmet dinner, green grass style? Hmm. Heartbeat is at 10 to 6. Next on ITV3, it's The Upper Hand.